I'm gonna pick the normal template I usually use. You pick the template that's best for you. High resolution means a little slower, lower resolution means a little blockier, etc. etc. Okay, so first thing to do, we always pick textures. Today let's try something different. We're gonna to go to render. Render means that we use like an algorithm that somebody programmed. So if I go to noise, <clears throat> they have different kinds of noise, and I encourage you to try out different kinds, okay? I'm gonna keep it simple and do solid noise, I think. All right, um, so as you know, X is left, right, Y is left, right, Y is up, down. So let me unlink those, that's better. So now it's getting thicker left, right, see how that works. So I can say how noisy and irregular I want it and all that stuff. And then for Y, of course, it's up and down. So if I do like a big Y and a lower X, I get like, you know, ocean waves or something. Anyway, there's lots of different things, ways to configure it. This almost looks like concrete. I can also make it turbulent which looks a little more like muscle tissue. That's nice and freaky. Um, and then tileable just means if I, well, yeah, I can tile it. Okay, <clears throat> and then if you get a new seed, it makes sure that it's random, but that's not probably not important for you. Um, so anyway, uh, I, will, I will go ahead and bump on this. Um, so you render some different things in the noise area, okay? So you have filters, render, noise and play around with some different ones and see what you think, okay? A lot of students like Plasma, some of these are new, um, so play around with that. Okay, uh, so once you have something that you want to bump, um, you call it something so you know it's like your actual image, all right, over your layers. If you don't know where your layers are because you're in the paintbrush or something, you can use Command L or you can go to the stack of papers, if you remember the previous one about layers, and you're gonna make a new layer all right, and we're going to call this B-U-M-P because this is the bump map. All right, so now I have this blank one called bump. All right, I'm going to pull white over. All right, um, so it's not see-through. Remember, main is hiding underneath there. Okay, and this needs to be black and white. Nothing else is going to work. Oh, sorry, black, white, and gray. It needs to be grayscale. How about that? Let's put it that way. Okay, so I will type something interesting. This is not interesting. Do not type that. All right, make a nice bar. All right, it's not as important as last time. It's, it's really big or not, but I'm gonna be big because it's a little less boring that way. Um, okay, and all right. You can also uh, paint something if you would like to. Notice how I have a layer floating over my other one now. The text, remember, I don't know if you remember with the text tool, we have to merge it down if we wanna stick it to the one underneath. So I'm gonna go to layer, merge down. <clears throat> okay, so look now, it's all on its own layer, right? Okay, um, though, if you wanna, do something with a paintbrush, that's fine. I would say thicker is better though, if you are gonna do that. Um, thicker text and a thicker brush are going to look a lot better for what we're doing with them today. Now we need to blur it because otherwise the edges don't work right. If you're not sure why, you should try it with and without blurring just to see what happens. But if I go to filters, blur, gaussian. Like once again, see why I went filters, blur, gaussian, okay? And just watch the edges of your letters. Get it as blurry as you can while it's still able to be read. Okay, if you get it so blurry that you can't read it, then your bump map is pretty much useless. All right, so for my font that I chose and my size that I have, it looks like, looks like about four or five will be good, but that'll, that'll depend on your resolution and your font and your font size and yada, yada, yada. Okay, so I have my bump map right here. Now I'm gonna go poke them in the eye because I don't really need them right now. And I'm gonna make sure I have main selected. See, now bump selected, now main selected. So just be careful to make sure main is selected at this point. And we're gonna go to filters, map, and the very first one hopefully says bump. Okay, so a bump map, that's what we're creating. Okay, uh, for the type, Keep it linear. Um, see the where it says aux input, okay? You're gonna pick bump, all right? And you might see your image is bumping up the map. It's a map for where to cast shadows and where to grab light and all that fun stuff. And you can change some different things. Elevation is how far away you are from the image. So the closer I am, the more prominent it's going to become. If I go really far up, it's more like I'm in a helicopter and it's a field and, and that way anyway. So I'll, I'll put it I'll put it a little closer because it was not as obvious. Now depth is for how deep the the, the bump is or how much it pops up or how much it like, um, goes down the edges or that kind of thing. You get too much depth and it just starts to look really white on one side and black on the other side. So too much depth is kind of ugly and boring. So let's keep the depth between like four and eight maybe, somewhere around there. I think five looks good enough because I'm already starting to see some white washout over here and I don't like that. Uh, in fact, I'll make the elevation go a little higher. 
Um, <clears throat> can't see my donut. I don't like that. So if I watch just a little deeper. There we go. Now I see my donut. Okay, so I can tolerate some washout. Well, the elevation. Oh, now I really see my donut. Okay, so I'll just tweak those until they look cool. Now, azimuth. What does azimuth do? You get 10 extra points if you can tell me what azimuth does. But otherwise, that's it. Um, save it, export it. If you did something gray, you can always colorize it, right? Um, if you like colorizing. Or um, you can apply. Do you remember the gradient tool and the gradient map from day one? So I can go get it like a crazy map with lots of colors in it like that. And colors, map, gradient. It's right there. So that's always an option too. Uh, whoa. <laughs> it's kind of, maybe that's not a good idea. Maybe I should gradient map before I bump, right? Try that out. Let me know how it goes. Thank you very much for watching.